Once upon a time in the small town of Serenityville lived a young girl named Emma. She was an ordinary high school student with dreams as vast as the open sky. Emma loved to paint, write, and dream big. Her laughter used to echo in the hallways of Serenityville High, and her eyes sparkled with the promise of a bright future. However, as the days passed, a shadow crept into Emma's life. A dark cloud settled over her, casting a veil of gloom that seemed to obscure the once vibrant colors of her world. Depression had stealthily found its way into Emma's heart, and with it came a storm that threatened to drown her in a sea of despair. As the weight of depression settled on her shoulders, Emma found herself struggling to keep up with her studies. Once an avid learner, she now found it challenging to concentrate on the simplest of tasks. The pages of her textbooks blurred into a jumble of meaningless words, and the once familiar equations turned into insurmountable mountains. Her grades began to plummet, mirroring the descent of her spirit. The vibrant hues of her dreams faded, replaced by the dull monochrome shades of hopelessness. Emma's teachers noticed the change and expressed their concern, but she remained silent, concealing the storm that raged within. One day, as the school bell rang, Emma found a small note tucked inside her locker. It was from her friend Lily, a beacon of kindness in Emma's tumultuous sea. The note read, Hey, Emma, I've noticed you've been struggling lately. Let's grab a coffee after school and talk. I'm here for you. Emma hesitated for a moment, but the genuine concern in Lily's words melted the icy walls she had built around herself. They met at the local coffee shop, where the comforting aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafted through the air. Lily, with a warm smile, said, Emma, I've known you for years, and it breaks my heart to see you like this. What's going on? With tears welling up in her eyes, Emma opened up about her battles with depression. Lily listened without judgment, offering a supportive presence that Emma hadn't realized she needed. I just can't focus on anything anymore. It's like I'm drowning in my own thoughts, Emma confessed. Lily nodded empathetically. You're not alone, Emma. We'll get through this together. Have you considered talking to someone like a counselor or a therapist? Emma hesitated, but Lily's words planted a seed of hope. The following week, with Lily by her side, Emma mustered the courage to seek professional help. The school counselor, Mrs. Thompson, welcomed her with open arms and a gentle understanding that eased Emma's apprehension. As Emma embarked on her journey to healing, Mrs. Thompson guided her through the labyrinth of emotions that depression had woven around her. Through counseling sessions, Emma learned coping mechanisms, mindfulness techniques, and the importance of reaching out for support. However, the road to recovery was not without its bumps. The academic challenges persisted, and Emma continued to struggle with her studies. Lily, recognizing the importance of a holistic approach to healing, suggested forming a study group with their friends. The study group became a sanctuary of shared knowledge and camaraderie. Emma, initially hesitant, found solace in the collective effort to overcome academic hurdles. With Lily's unwavering support and the encouragement of their friends, Emma slowly began to regain her academic footing. The turning point came during a group project. As the friends brainstormed ideas, Emma's creativity, once dormant, began to flicker to life. Her passion for painting and writing found an unexpected outlet in the project, and soon, the once dull assignment transformed into a vibrant masterpiece. Embracing her newfound inspiration, Emma poured her heart into her studies. The study group became a source of motivation and encouragement, fostering an environment where everyone thrived. As the colors of her world began to return, so did the light in Emma's eyes. With time, Emma's grades improved, and the storm that had clouded her dreams began to dissipate. The support of her friends, the guidance of Mrs. Thompson, and her own resilience became the rays of sunlight that broke through the darkness of depression. As the final exams approached, Emma faced them with a newfound strength. 
she had not only conquered the academic challenges, but had also emerged stronger from the battle against depression. The once fading dreams now gleamed with renewed vigor, and Emma realized that she was not defined by her struggles, but by her ability to overcome them. On the day of the results, Emma, surrounded by friends and family, nervously logged into the school portal. The screen displayed her grades, and a wave of relief and joy washed over her. The journey had been arduous, but Emma had emerged victorious. The colors of her dreams had not only returned, but had become more vivid and resilient than ever before. The story of Emma's triumph over depression and academic challenges spread through the halls of Serenityville High, inspiring others to seek help and support. Lily, Mrs. Thompson, and the study group became unsung heroes in the battle against the silent storm that affected so many. As Emma stood on the threshold of a new chapter, she carried with her the lessons learned during the darkest days of her life. The scars of the past became badges of resilience, and the shadows that had once threatened to engulf her were now mere echoes in the distance. The tale of Emma's journey reminded Serenityville that even in the darkest times, a flicker of light could illuminate the path to healing. It reinforced the importance of compassion, understanding, and the power of human connection in overcoming the challenges that life may throw our way.